So let us discuss this very important theorem of a scalar field. Hmm. So what we have to prove if limit of scalar valued function at point A, if exists, it is unique. That means if limit exists of any scalar valued function, then it is unique. Actually, it is true for all any uh, real valued function or any vector valued function. Okay, but now we are going to prove for scalar valued function. You know, scalar valued function means what? A function from Rn to R, we call it as the scalar valued or subset of Rn to R. So we will do the same. Uh, what will we do? We will consider first let. Okay, basic things we will take first. Let S s be a subset of rn getting and f from s to r b n e b n e scalar valued function okay so we have taken one scalar valued function i am taking one point okay so let a belongs to s okay so, uh, hmm. in a form of diagram i will show you so this is some subset s of rn getting we have a point a and uh, okay and f is a function from this s to r so th this thing we have uh, now we we will consider it uh, it has a limit at a it has a limit at a and we have to prove that it is unique unique means only one limit we will have so see assume that i will assume assume that we are assuming that limit extends to a f of x exist we are assuming that it exists and now we have to prove that it is unique to prove that to prove that limit extends to a f of x is unique unique means only one value it will have okay only one value it will have so in mathematics, when we have to prove it is unique, most of the times what we do, we consider let it possible there are two, okay, and we start to solve. And after solving few steps, we uh, come to with the conclusion that it is not possible. We get some contradiction and we declare it is not possible. So that's why finally we declare it is a unique. So the same technique I'm going to use. So what will I do? I will consider uh, let it possible. It has two distinct limits, okay. So let it possible. let it possible limit or i will mention it has two distinct limits say we will call them as l1 and l2 so that means its value is L1 and it can be L2. So this thing we are actually we can really understand that it is not possible, but we are assuming. So yeah, that is that is limit extends to A f of x is equal to L1 and limit extends to A f of x is equal to L2 and l1 is not equal to l2 a very important thing that means it has two values okay the left hand side is same but right hand sides are uh, different okay so l1 is not equal to l2 see using epsilon delta definition i'm going to prove it so you know in epsilon delta definition first we take epsilon right which is a positive real number so here also i will take epsilon so let epsilon is equal to so i'm selecting epsilon okay in this way huh? mod l1 minus l2 so mod is there so it cannot be negative as well as these two are different so that's why they have some value between them so obviously it is greater than zero so this is our choice of epsilon hmm. so let us use first definition i will write we have we have okay what we have limit extends to a f of x is equal to l1 right so let us apply the definition of limit what is the definition of limit for given epsilon okay for given epsilon instead of right i will for above epsilon see so epsilon already we have taken for above epsilon greater than zero yeah what is after this there exists delta greater than zero such that huh, such that tell me try to say you can also tell me that zero less than norm x minus a less than delta implies mod f of x minus l1 
less than epsilon okay so instead of delta i will write delta 1 obviously because since for second definition i'm going to select delta 2 one more adjustment i will do instead of epsilon i will select epsilon by 2 it's a part of adjustment huh i am calling it as equation number 1 so obviously now i am going to use our second definition for l1 we got this one equation number 1 right now for l2 i am going to write equation number 2 so before that make a screenshot of it and then we'll go further okay so let us go further now i am going to use our second information we have uh, please tell me what is our second information our second information is this one right so limit x tends to a right f of x is equal to l2 so tell me using second definition what can i write yeah please tell me same definition right for above epsilon greater than zero for above epsilon greater than zero there exist we got delta one there i can take delta two here right such that huh? tell me such that such that 0 less than norm x minus a less than delta 2 implies mod f of x f of x minus l2 less than epsilon by 2 instead of epsilon i am selecting epsilon by 2 it's a part of adjustment again right so the problem is that one okay expression one is true for delta one that means this norm is less than delta one expression two is true for this norm is less than delta 2 but we want both of them should be true simultaneously so what will i do i will select delta which is minimum of both of them so your expression 1 and 2 will be true for delta so see we choose we choose okay we choose delta is equal to minimum of delta 1 and delta 2 so i will mention then okay then 1 and 2 will work for this delta okay for this delta now i consider say i am considering this part now i consider 0 less than norm x minus a less than delta so now we can ready to use 1 and 2 simultaneously since uh, if this condition is satisfied 1 and 2 are both are simultaneously true huh. so uh, now just you have to tell me huh? you have to tell me something that uh, consider i am starting with epsilon epsilon okay what is definition of epsilon tell me where we have taken epsilon yes here we have taken epsilon what is this definition mod l1 minus l2 a very small adjustment i'm going to do ah, so that adjustment is i'm going to subtract and i'm going to add f of x tell me what will i get if i do l1 minus f of x plus f of x minus l2 so can you guess the next step yeah i'm going to take separate separate mod but the problem is when you take a separate separate mod value possibly value will get increased so this is less than or equal to mod l1 minus f of x and here here also i'm taking separate mod f of x minus l2 right in case of mod you can easily interchange them okay it doesn't matter so this is nothing but f of x minus l1 right since mod a minus b and mod b minus a both of them are same so that's why plus mod f of x minus l2 right so here i will write huh so see mod f of x minus l1 mod f of x minus l1 we have seen it here so see this is less than epsilon by 2 from equation number 2 right and 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 mod f of x minus l2 mod f of x yes here this is also less than epsilon by 2 so epsilon by 2 so epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 2 epsilon by 2 2 to cancel so that's why we'll have epsilon right okay make